Hey guys, Dingo Nerd here. Um, just <laughs> had plenty of time to just kind of uh, chill at home. And um, this morning I made a, my Kydex uh, sheath for um, the Tabasco for my, for my friend Guy. And then um, I had that day off today because I had a couple of doctor's appointments and I had to go see the dentist. So, um, <clears throat> I've been just kind of hanging out and working on, you know, kind of trying to, you know, sand a little bit more of the edges on the holster, the, the Tabasco holster. And, um, did some dry fire practice in the garage with the, with the airsoft. But, um, you know, like when I have all this free time, I, I, my mind starts to kind of, venture off and then um what i was thinking was uh i thought about i have like maybe a third of that red kydex i bought a 12 by 12 sheet so i still have a little a little strip left and i thought you know maybe i could make a uh another kydex kind of sheath for to hold the um kind of a tourniquet you know i thought you know that would be a good thing to have maybe attach it you know, to the mag side, but um, I started messing with that, and then I came up with another idea. What if I just put the tourniquet on my belt? Because it, it it's got the Velcro on it. So this is the tourniquet right here, and then I can just it, because of the Velcro, it can just go through my belt loops. And then, if you need it, now the tourniquet is ready. And um, so I don't know. I'm not a medical expert or anything like that. Um, I don't know what. That's just an idea that I came up with. So I thought I would kind of pass it by you guys and see, you know, like, you know your opinions. And so basically, what I do is on the five eleven strike pant, which I wear. Uh, basically exclusively if I'm not working. Um, on the front, on the front two belt loops, they have kind of a, this little pass through, I think. I think it's supposed to be like, you know, someplace you can clip a badge for law enforcement or, you know, clip something to it. So there's on both sides. But um, what I did was I just basically clip this end of the tourniquet into it just to hold it because it doesn't fit through the belt loops and then the rest of it is just like a belt it's got all this hook and loop so I put that in that little badge I don't know slot holder and then I just run the rest of the tourniquet through the belt loops you don't have to go through all the loops, but um, it's not it's not too not, so that that part. So once I get it through the loops, and then get it to where I want it to stay, and then you tighten it up from the back, and then you just run it around and it. Velcro's right there. Now it's pretty secure. I don't know. <laughs> I just came up with this idea. So, um, and then since, you know, it's winter time and now I can, you know, kind of wear more cover garments. I have a, like a thicker shirt and probably wear my hoodie. I wore my hoodie today when I was out going to doctors and stuff. So, it, you know, it's not that much different than having the the grip of my P320, and then there's the tourniquet right there. So, I don't know. Um, what do you think? I think it's, I think it's a good idea so far. <laughs> I don't know. Just an idea, but um, haven't put it into practice yet. But, um, yeah, just, Leave comments, uh, let me know what you think. Is it a good idea? Or 
maybe <laughs> something that you know i don't know just let me know thanks for watching see you next time